welcome back. We're going to sing a little worship song now. Let there be love shared among us. Um, I'll see if I can post the words up on Facebook. I haven't done that yet. But I'll post the words up so that you'll be able to see what we're singing. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep this nation. Cause us, O Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding of brotherly love that is real. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love. It's a prayer to God that the love of Christ will so dwell in our hearts that we will love one another as brothers and sisters. And we certainly need that love in these days. This is how it goes. Let there be love shed among us. Let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep this nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding a brotherly love that is real let there be love shed among us let there be love let there be love shed among us let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep this nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding. A brotherly love that is true. Let there be love shed among us. Let there be love. Let there be love shed among us. Let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep this nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding, a brotherly love that is real. Let there be love shed among us. Let there be love. Come to our time of prayer now. Prayers for the world. Prayers for the people around us. Prayers for, the, for those whom we love. And for all who are in need. Redeemed by love. Blessed are you. God and Father of us all. You created us out of your love and redeemed us by your love. We rejoice that you sustain us with your love and that you never leave us. Lord, we seek to know your presence and to give our love to you 
Blessed are you, one God, forever. Lord, as we rejoice in your love for all people, we pray that your church throughout the world may strive for justice and freedom for all. We remember now all who are persecuted for their faith. For Christians in such countries as North Korea, many Islamic countries, and many tyrannical regimes. And we pray for all who are oppressed by tyranny, for the people of Myanmar, under a military government, for the people of China who do not have the freedom to practice their religion. We ask your blessing, Lord, upon all who are witnessing to the power of prayer and of knowing you. And we pray for all Christian groups and religious communities, churches, and all ministers, all preachers of the word, and all who administer your sacraments throughout the world. Father, your kingdom come in us as it is in heaven. As we pray for our daily needs, we remember all who suffer from poverty, hunger, homelessness. But the poorest people in our society who are suffering most from the pandemic, disproportionately dying and being affected, and in other countries as well. It's always the poorest who suffer the most in any time of hardship. We pray for those who now find themselves in debt, perhaps as a result of the pandemic, and all who are struggling to cope with life, all whose mental health has suffered because of this lockdown and isolation. We pray for all throughout the world who are not sure where their next meal is going to come from. We pray, Lord, for the harvests of the world, distribution of food and for fair trade everywhere. Father, your kingdom come in us as it is in heaven. We give thanks to you, Lord, for all who throughout our lives have cared for us and supplied our needs, parents and carers and guardians, family members and friends, marriage partners. We ask your blessing upon our homes and upon our loved ones, especially we pray for those from whom we are separated by distance. We cannot meet up with at this time We pray for all within our community who are responsible for upholding high standards and integrity. For all leaders in local government and all who influence others through their profession, teaching or leading by the example of their lives, may we be 
an example to others. May the love of Christ dwell in our hearts. Father, your kingdom come in us as it is in heaven. We give thanks to you, Lord, for your forgiveness. For through the cross of Christ, you have cleansed away all our sins and you forgive us all our iniquities. We pray for all who at this time may be burdened with guilt and remorse about what they have done in their lives. May they turn to you and know your grace. And all who are striving to live a new life, all those who have gone straight from a crooked lifestyle, may they have your grace and your help. We remember before you all who are ill, at home or in hospital, those who are seriously ill in intensive care with COVID, and those who are drawing near to the end of their lives. Those who are unwell at home. We ask your blessing upon them and upon those who care for them. We pray for all our carers and for our med medical staff who are overwhelmed, so many of them, with overwork and strain. Lift the burden, we pray. We continue to pray for the rollout of the vaccine and success in combating this pandemic. Father, your kingdom come in us as it is in heaven. We think of those who are recently bereaved. We pray for them, your peace and your blessing. We commend to you our friends and loved ones departed this life knowing that all who believe in Christ will rejoice in the fullness of your kingdom in the joy and peace of life eternal accept our prayers O Lord in the name of Jesus who taught us when we pray to say our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and remain with us forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much for watching, listening, joining in, I hope, with the singing and with the prayers. And God bless you until next time.